Hi everyone, welcome to Diana's Table. Today I'm going to be making one of my favorite sandwiches. It's called potato salad sandwich, or in Korean, 감자 사라다 빵. I know it sounds kind of strange to say sarada for salad, but when I was young, that's how we used to call it. It's very simple. We add lots of potatoes and whatever vegetables you have in the refrigerator. Today I'm going to make it very traditional kind, um, the ones that I grew up with when I was young. So let's get started. First, I'm going to slice the pickle, uh, cucumbers and salt it a little bit. Uh, you have to slice it into very thin pieces. Add a, a pinch of salt. You don't really need a lot of salt, and I'm just going to let it salt for maybe about five minutes until cucumber gets a little flexible. I have um, cut potatoes here, and I'm going to cut the carrot the same size as the potatoes. into little cubes. In order to save time, I actually cook the potatoes and carrots together and it's here. Uh, you know that potato is well cooked when it turns color like this. Because I want it cold, it's always best to cook it first and let it cool. And I'm going to add the apples. So let me cut the apples. I think I will use maybe half of an apple. And because I washed it really clean, I'm going to keep the uh, skins on. It's always, you know, the best nutrition is in the skin. Again, I just add it like um, into little cubes or dice pieces and add it to the potatoes. I boiled four eggs, hard boil. And I'm going to just use the egg whites for now and reserve the uh, egg yolk for later use. I'm going to chop the egg whites again into a similar size as the potatoes and the carrots. So after five minutes of salting the uh, cucumber, it's gotten very flexible. You can actually bend it easily. Then it's ready. So I'm just going to rinse it once in the water and squeeze the water tight. This. You don't want it to be too salted because you still want to keep that crunchiness. So it's good. Because I have some fresh corn, a really nice sweet corn, and I love corn. I'm going to add some corn here. All the mixture that we prepared. Now the most important part. We actually season this with mayonnaise. Mayonnaise is, um, you can use homemade mayonnaise, but I think the store-bought is as good. Uh, about a, a cup of mayonnaise. It's a lot, but believe me, you need it. Mustard, so I'm going to add maybe two tablespoons of mustard, a little bit of olive oil, extra virgin olive oil, freshly ground pepper, little bit of salt. And if you like things to be a little bit spicy, I always use a little bit of uh, horseradish, creamed horseradish. It has a little kick to it, right? One tablespoon. Now, just mix. So as you mix the seasoning, try to mash the potatoes a little bit. You don't want it to be too big. But then at the same time, you don't want mashed potatoes. Enough size, either small enough so that you can taste the potatoes. So it, as I mix, I mash the potatoes now a little bit. This is where now I'm going to add the egg yolks. I 
take it in my hand and I will just mash it like this. It's important to add the egg yolk last. You don't want the uh, yellow to turn color too quickly. See how pretty it is. So I'm going to plate just the salad and just to make it a little bit prettier, I mean, you can use actually ice cream scoop, but I don't have one, believe it or not. So I'm just gonna use this bowl. Pat it down and then just put it here. So it, it actually comes out a little bit more form. We usually use soft rolls to have this potato salad sandwich, dinner rolls. And all you have to do, because everything is so well seasoned, you just cut it in half and just add the salad here. This used to be a very popular um, snack or uh, meal in Korea when I was young. And even now it holds a big nostalgia for our family. Here we are with our potato salad sandwich and potato salad. I'm going to try one sandwich. Mmm. Exactly the taste that of my childhood. I used to love this when I come home from school. I would always have it as a snack in the afternoon. And the roll is really nice and soft and it, the potatoes and apples and all the vegetables really mesh together so well. It's perfect food for picnics and summer days. So I hope you'll try it this weekend with your family. Happy cooking and happy eating!